In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to begin to show you how to use the Adorage filter in the transition room. We already have tutorials about using it as an effect in the effect room, but the real power is often unleashed when you use it as a transition. I have two clips here. One is a couple uh, by the seashore having fun. The other is another couple uh, biking down the street. So we're going to add a transition between these two clips. So I'll click on my transition room or I can press the F8 key and go to the Adorage transition. I'm going to drag it and drop it here in the middle. I'm also going to change the duration for now. It's only uh, two seconds. And for the purpose of our experiment here, we're going to make it, let's make it six and I'll click on OK. So let's go ahead and edit that Adorage transition. The default that it picks is a dissolve, as you can see here. I go ahead and play it in my main screen, preview screen. I see I have a nice little simple dissolve from the one to the other. Now this works not unlike any other dissolve that you might have in your transition room, but let me show you how a Dorage gives you more options. I'm going to click on the transition and then I'll click on the modify button above my timelines. Then I have uh, the way in which I can change the transition. Let's go to standalone effect to get into the Adorage editor. And we see we're on dissolve. Now, unlike using it as an effect, when we use it as a transition, I now have a video A, which is my one on the left side, and my video B on the right side. Let me show you a couple of simple things you can do now that we're using it as a transition. I will click on video A. We could not do this before. Now, what I'm going to do is I have a starting po position, ending position, and I can change some different features here. Let's take starting position and just for, for this example, we'll change the size. We'll enlarge it. The maximum is 200%. We'll do that horizontally and vertically to keep the proportions and you notice what it does. This is how it will begin. If I click on OK, I just changed how the first image begins to move toward the dissolve. I didn't edit the image at all. I didn't have to use any keyframing. All I did was change the features in the Adorage tool itself on image A. So it shrinks down. If I go ahead and uh, it also keeps the dissolve, which is the standard control here. Let's go to video B and let's say we want video B to uh, actually end enlarged. So I'll click on the ending position, the tab up here, and we'll make that 200% since it's an easy thing to pick. And now we have a uh, double motion. We have a dissolve, but we also have um, an image that, that uh, kind of camera backs away and then the image where the camera apparently seems to zoom in. And so we've already, just by changing those features on video A and video B, begun to modify this into a kind of transition we could never do ourselves. Let me click on video A again and try something else. Let's just add a little touch of rotation. I'm going to go maybe 8% to the right. Click on OK. And then let's take video B and we'll do a minus 8% on that side and click on OK. Now we do have some black area in video B, but it just shows you just a couple of the features that you can change uh, in order to customize the transition with the Dorage any way you want to with a simple dissolve. Then we could also go into the mixer here and we find out here <clears throat> with a dissolve we don't have a mask but we could begin to add a mask. We could also go to the overlay tab and we could add some overlays. We'll work on those in future lessons. But this one is just a simple way in which you can click on video A and video B and begin to change some of the features that you see 
in your particular adorage effect for a simple dissolve. In the future lessons, we'll show you some other kinds of effects that you can use and how you can combine even more features as you make some rather incredible transitions using a dorage as, this, as an add-on product for CyberLink PowerDirector.